What's going on guys? Glad to have you back on my channel. My name is Bennett Grazer and I create filmmaking tutorials here on YouTube. If you're interested in that kind of topic, then consider subscribing to my channel. First of all, I wanna give a shout out to all of you people out there that have subscribed to my channel. We are almost reaching 500 subscribers, which is crazy. It's nice to see how this channel is growing and how you guys are enjoying uh, the videos I create. Thank you so much for your support and engagement. It really means a lot to me. All right, with that said, let's get into the video. It's hard to find a camera that does everything straight out of the box. That is why it's important to build a camera rig that you can customize in any way that fits your production needs. Today, I will show you how I set up my Sony a7 III camera rig. So before we start, you will find all the products in the video description below. It took me a while to build my camera rig that fits my needs. My process was to build around it and improve it over time. Not everyone has the same rig, some need it for different purposes. In my case, I do a lot of freelance work, mostly in documentary perspective. So I was looking for a camera that was lightweighted and offered a really good price for its features. With all that in mind, I went with the Sony a7 III. There is a good reason why I picked the Sony a7 III. If you haven't seen my ultimate Sony a7 III setup, I will leave a link up here. The Sony a7 III is a full frame mirrorless camera that has the capability to shoot on crop 4K in 30 frames per second and 1080p in 120 frames per second. It has a really good autofocus and does really well in low light situations. On a shoot, the battery life lasts almost for a day. It's small, compact, and very lightweighted. It captures great video with its S-Log picture profile and has a built-in 5-axis image stabilization. It comes at a really good price of $1,999, but you can definitely get a used one for much cheaper. It is not the perfect camera, but for an entry-level camera, it offers a lot. So let's go over what I want to improve about this camera and build the rig around it. So the Sony a7 III feels fragile because of its small size. I picked up a cage by Smallrig for the Sony a7 III that protects and allows me to build on it. This cage costs around $100. On top of it, I added the Smallrig Nato handle, which has a quick release and a rubber. On the handle, I attached a Smallrig monitor holder. With this, you can attach large monitors to it. Now, the screen of the Sony a7 III is small. It's around three inches. It's not very bright, and it doesn't have certain features that monitors have, like false color or vector scopes, that I find really useful. I went with the Atmos Ninja V. This five inch monitor gives me a clear representation of what I see. This monitor allows me to shoot on a 500 gigabyte SSD, which means I can shoot 4K almost the whole day. With the Atmos Ninja V, it adds even a second audio channel with another 3.5 millimeter jack, which allows to record on two separate channels, which is huge. You could use a wireless lav mic and a shotgun mic to shoot for different purposes because I shoot a lot of interviews. I use the lav mic to capture my subject's speech and the shotgun mic for natural sound from the surrounding. The shotgun mic is mounted to a extended rosette. For the Atmos Ninja V, I added a small rig monitor cage on it to protect it as well. The next thing you should do is add a V-mount battery, which gives you the option to power the camera and monitor from one battery source. This way, you don't have to charge batteries all the time. In order to attach the V-mount plate, you have to have a rail system. I mounted the small rig base plate that comes with a 50 millimeter rod clamp to the bottom of the cage. I then put the 50 millimeter rod through those clamps. The V-mount plate that I added on the back is called V-mount lock battery plate by Hankton. 
This V-mount plate has a USB plug, a D-tab, and has some other power plugs which you can power various accessories. For this setup, I only needed the D-tab and the power plug. This way, I don't have to change batteries on a long shoot. Another nice feature I added to the rail is the shoulder pad, which can be used to change the height position of the camera. On the side, I added a nice wooden handle that gives me more stability when holding the camera rig on my shoulder. Because of the weight added, I can get some really nice smooth handheld shots with the top handle. The next step in building this rig is to find a lens that shoots the quality of image that you have in your head. I went with the full frame Sony 24 to 105 millimeter f4. I think this is the best all round lens you can get. This lens covers all the focal lengths I need for my video shoots. I can go from a wide angle shoot to a portrait shot or even a tight close up. It shoots at a constant f4 aperture and creates a nice separation from the background. Since it's a first party lens, I can use the autofocus feature that works really great. I've been using this lens for almost two years and if you consider buying this lens, uh, you will surely not regret it. I actually have reviewed this lens uh, a couple of months ago. You can check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. So this is how the rig looks like when it's built up, but you always have the option to build it differently for different scenarios. It's like playing with Lego. The rig is made to adapt. Building a rig is not cheap. The reason I built this rig is because it looks really awesome and professional and I could start cheap and upgrade it within time. So as I got different jobs, I could add a component after the other and create this monster rig. A lot of people think they need to start off with a high-end camera like a RED, but that is not necessarily always true. Like me, you can slowly build up as you go, step by step, but it can get expensive over time. The camera rig I presented to you cost around $5,000. It took me years to upgrade it uh, to where it's now. Uh, with all that said, now you can build your own dream camera that you can also afford. All right, guys, congratulations if you have watched it till the end. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. Hope to see you soon and goodbye.